probably gonna take us to another the TikTok stream should be fine, right? This one, not so much. So I need to go to a different one. Not working? No, it's working. We had to end that stream. This one started. Sorry, I didn't know it was going to take us to another page, guys. My bad. I'm sure some people got lost in the transition there. I don't know what's been going on with OBS. Just want to know it. To always come show some love, someone who's educated and believe in the community and developed on the and then always come back to. Well, thank you, Jeremy. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Go back to your channel and re enter. Re enter. Make it a part of that stream? With Rampin and Super Oh wow, I haven't talked to her in a while. Oh gosh. I feel like if I go back and check, I feel like I may have accidentally left her on red unintentionally. And she was asking a question about League. No, nah, she's really cool. I think I may have left her on red actually a while back. That's my fault. Shit. Oops. My apologies. Well, you're one of the kind of readers that we enjoy. Well, that's really nice. I think I think I've actually I think she's actually mentioned you before. I believe. Now that now that I'm reading your name, I believe she has actually said something about you before. Nah, she's really cool though. He's really cool. Very nice, very nice person. Her IRL, I got you, I got you. Yep, she has, she said that you, uh, that you watched the stream. There it is. I see in the messages now, yep. I remember, I remember that name from uh, Twitch too. Well, it's nice to see you, brother. Let her know, let her know that I did not intentionally leave her on road. It's been a while. I'm sure she doesn't care, honestly, at this point. But just, you know, let her know that that wasn't intentional. I think I must have been really busy during that time frame. And I just, I remember reading the, the question and then I forgot to respond. Because I think I was like in the gym or something like that. And I wanted to type out mm -hmm. something. Yo, can you fix the stream? Uh, OBS crashed. Anyway? Yeah, yeah, just give it a thumbnail and stuff. It crashed on me. I, I had to restart it. Is that all right? Uh, yeah. Doing it right now. Okay. But hopefully it doesn't crash anymore. Probably need to do it. Maybe we just need to switch to OBS. Maybe Streamlabs is just trash. Yeah, probably, yeah. We can do that next week. This is the better version, so... We should probably yeah, do that. Uh, close stream. Yeah. We'll do that next week. Next I, need week. To, I need to set up my... Um, my stream deck, the thing that you got, I need to set that up too. Yeah. So let's do it. All right, thank you for fixing it. All right. No problem. Bye bye, I bro. Talk later. Lamarcus. Uh, yeah.
Well, yeah, I consider her a friend, dude, so. She's got a friend here. He has a friend here for sure. Oh, wait, let me get back in queue. Sorry for the reset, guys. We're getting the thumbnail fixed and stuff like that. I am, even, even though we played really good, really well on that last game, uh, I'm still not going to play on the Masters account right now because that was all luck, that game that we won before. Do we even have that account added? I don't even have that account added. But regardless, that game that we won, game one, was just pure luck. And uh, I know not to push my luck. You know what I mean? We gained LP on the Masters account, and I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up with Masters 200, 300 players right now, unfortunately. Give me the Emerald and the Diamond players today. I need to relax. But I do want to make up for yesterday because I didn't get to stream on YouTube and TikTok yesterday. So I'll probably try to stream after work on Sunday. Hopefully it's not as crazy as it was yesterday and I can get out of work at a decent time. Which usually Sunday is much better. So should be okay. More relatable to my game. These games are so much more fun too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where I can drop like 20 kills a game and just chill. Also, I wanted to watch this last night and I completely forgot about it. But it gives me something to watch today, so I'm happy. Something to watch in queue they can catch up with. But they both made the same impact in this game, which is basically nothing. So it doesn't This is for an MSI spot, too. Everywhere else, and it's the Vitalia that got them back into this game so heavily. It's Zayas, you know, who's just kind of been taking the, the, the waves on in the top lane, but they don't need him to win these fights necessarily. Hanwha Life aren't able to actually force fights on their terms or force T1 to take fights where they would really need Zayas on a flank, need Zayas to set up that CC. Just losing them front to back is Doran hasn't really been impactful in this game either. We need to see Hanwha Life win a decisive 5v5 fight either on this Baron or no. on this Soul fight. Otherwise, I think T1 just win this one. It, it, it's really... My vape is dead. Hold on. I'm going to put it on the charger. Oh, the you charger. see something big from them. Certainly do. And we are now gearing up for this fourth dragon of the game. 28 seconds until that one does spawn. T1 fresh off a reset. I'm alive. Looking to try and grab some more items for themselves as well. An elixir of iron um, in the back pocket for Doran. He knows this fight's going to be important. He's going to have to show why he was the one given the advantage in the early game. Yeah, everyone is setting up for this. And I think a big thing with Hon Life, when they were having their successes early in the game, they were kind of chaining summoner burns together, you know, Ow. taking Faker's Flash, taking Zeus's Sums. Everything's up for T1. And when, you know, the Hon Life Esports composition wants to gas close, wants to commit these big ultimates like the Yone's, you really will feel frustrated if Guma simply flashes away from it. So I think this is definitely giving an edge of the T1. Hon Life Esports are on the objective. Yeah, started this one up, Perry on a flank angle. We know that the wall can always come in, and there it is for Faker. He is not going to run. As a major inspired to bring my slayer, I'm gonna ask me what I'm doing. Clearly, you're not doing slayer. I was thinking I might grind uh, some RuneScape tonight, actually. You stand in front of five people so we can rush down this Chemtech Dragon. And T1 identified very quickly. This fight is should be ours. Easy to take if Carrier gets the engage. He does, and now they get more than just... They got Soul, though? Yeah, and you know, Pina is still up and available. Does have Flash, does have Smite. Chemtech Soul, though. It's weak, weak Soul. But the Baron is going down so fast. It is. Pina should be able to make it into the pit, but this is going to be a different... Is he going to try to steal that? What a psycho. They're doing what with their purple worm? What the hell? What the hell? Well, I don't know if it's volley top. Yeah, there we go. That seems more likely. T1 
seems to be the more likely culprit here. Dude, I wish, actually... Even with these runes, I'm still gonna ask Ari to lane against Folly. Or lane against Vayne. Three hundred seventy k till ninety wood cutting. I'm super sad. You hate wood cutting, don't you? <laughs> My guy hates wood cutting. Oh. She actually just entered though. I was at a miss, he missed his Q there. But it sure didn't look like it. Yeah, but it's like super, it's super chill, like AFK, you know? Oh, we take those. I mean, he, eh, we take them. Eh, yeah, it's fine. Eh, it's okay, it's okay. He's actually not using his teleport, so I'm gonna punish him for that.
あどうなんやミッドウェイブマネジメントウェイブマネジメントのミッドレインは少し違うのでトップレインは。You don't really manage waves in mid lane, to be honest. Not really the same. In mid, in mid lane, you can't really set up freezes and punish like you can in top lane. Like, if you're trying to set up a freeze in mid lane, like, just get your support to come up there and then fix it. You know what I mean? Like, it's much different. So, they don't have to, you don't have to learn wave management as much. Grab a BF sword? I can't get anything good with a BF sword. You know what I mean? Nothing good to buy. Except maybe GA. I think that wind wall should block melee attacks. Yeah, all right, buddy. Let's get this guy a job at Riot. He's a genius. We need to get you a job immediately, brother. You guys remember how old Volibear you used to he used to flip people? Flip them backwards.
What even was old vol volley bears? Uh, Ergot style, yeah. What was his his ult? I actually don't remember what his ult was. Nah, that's old Urgot. I'm trying to think of what old um I'm trying to think of what old Volley Bear's ulti was. I'd have to look it up. Stat bonus and stack shift—is that what it was? It was the—it was the electricity that he has now. Is just, was his ulti, huh? That is true. That's his passive now too. Huh. Old volley bear was chill actually. I like the. I forget what, what he added. The bite. Okay, he had his bite. He had his flip. He had his static, and he had what was his other ability? Was it a passive ability of some sort, or maybe like a. Boom, boom, boom. I give you the Yasuo lane and you give him two kills? His old E was. Active level reps with Thunder increasing in size. Oh, he, he increased in size. Huh. I don't remember him increasing in size, actually. I used to be a big volley bear uh, Shivana player. Like when I first started League, I was an ADC player as I was like leveling up, and then I became a jungler and then a top laner. Current volley is very... That guy's really strong right now, though. Just the rework. Yeah, all the... Has there ever been a, a rework that you didn't like? I feel like all the reworks have been pretty good for the champions. You know what I mean? I can't really think of any reworks or, like, new visuals or anything where I was like, eh, that kind of sucks. Trunks for me, nah, dude. Every that's like a very common thing. People say that a lot, but like, come on, dude. New Aatrox is so much cooler. You know, like of course old Aatrox was like chill. 
old Aatrox was just like auto attack and the, the slam and it was kind of whatever. But And he was fun and he was simple and he was cool. But, but Aatrox is a pretty cool champion, you know what I mean? I remember playing some old Aatrox. He was fun though. I do remember that. It actually kind of changes the character mass. Oh yeah, it did. It changed him immensely. Definitely not even the same champion. Definitely go to the. Yeah, I agree. Trinda's rework sucks. Trindamir. What was old Trindamir? Is there a different version of Trindamir? Yeah, I don't remember Trindamir got reworked. Oh, well, I don't know if that really counts because it's the same champion, you know? Don't like the a trash rework. Let's have some fun, eh? Ivana rework? Is that who won the... Dude, wasn't Trindamir who won the, the rework poll? Or was that Skarner? Was that why they did redid Skarner? Did he win the poll? Shiv, Shiv did Shiv won it? Shiv won, but they reworked Skarner. I don't remember I remember that poll, but I don't remember who won. Hey. Let's act like we're DCing. Watch this. We're about to pull the classic DC move there. Skarner did win, okay. Sorry boys, I'm a little slow today. A little, a little dumb today. It's all right. 
That's all right. Yo, yo, yo. What's up? Do it, do it, do it. Thank you. Is Rupert the most hated? Skarner? That one guy, um, that face check Skarner guy, I always see him talking about that champ. I think he likes it. But that guy just builds whatever the hell on Skarner, just anything. Anything that guy will build. Always interesting to see what he's cooking up on that champ. I'm pretty sure he ended up going from like, he said, he went from like Emerald 1 to Grandmasters with that rework. Oh, we didn't even die that game, huh? I didn't know we didn't die, guys. Good job, good job. My vis ape that was charging. Oh wait, we're watching this. The back of that dragon fight now with a 5,000 gold lead and this setup was so good, you know, the wall comes in for some disruption but mainly Carrier on this flank angle and with everyone from Honor Life Esports in the pit, it's such a shooting gallery, they're not able oh, to make Clins, the engage, top gets deleted by that Vi combo and then suddenly you only have Viper, you only have this Pope Varus who's pumping damage into this Vi, isn't really doing that much while Guma is free hitting the whole time and here 
the patience. They were waiting for Pina to move forwards. Carrier forces the flash with that knockup. He knows he dies if he eats it, but the Baron's health never even gets close to a smite range. And you can see the problems in the competition Video? here for Hanwha Light. Discord? You know, even with the, the setup they have, is Doran is a huge brick wall. But when you're playing Lethality Varus, you can't utilize that very much. It's not very easy to actually use Doran to get poke off, even when you have control for the objective. They just hunker down on the dragon itself, but didn't leave themselves any outs. Viper doing very little damage in that fight. And T1 now with Baron here ripping through these turrets. The real difficulty that we've Ooh. won't just uh, Heliport just didn't have a cooldown back then. Stop the rotation over here for Harmalite Esports, but not really going to deter them too much. It is still 7,000 gold, approximately the lead here for T1. This amount of recovery. Teleport not have a cooldown? You just press the button and you appeared there? Here for Hamalife, but T1 with the Baron. He should be able to get even more of these items. Seismic Shell going to be picked up once again. As Faker finds yet another one. That's a good glacial prison though onto Zayas. He's going to have to get out of there. As the Unbound Soul gets Zeka back to the the teleport channel. Okay. For, but he's just dead before he can do anything. And so T1 with five man strong still with that Baron for another minute. And they've already gotten rid of the horse. There's just not enough sustained damage in this composition for Hanwha, even with the re-engage. As you're looking at Poke Forest, you're looking at Ione, there's no mage here that can just layer damage upon damage upon damage. There's no real AD carry, not traditionally anyways here for Viper. He's got to poke his way through. Yeah, Seismic Shove is going to connect onto Doran as he teleports in. That is not the warm welcome that he was wanting as he looks to try and help out his teammates. Looks to try and get out of there. Gumi Ushi taking matters into his own hands as the turret will be taken down. That is his prize in trade for his ultimate. This is a point where it starts to look so suffocating for Honor Life Esports, where every time they're looking for this engage angle, they're just being marked, and it just feels like it's it's so hard. Someone goes in, but there's the Unraveled Earth, which blocks all those dashes. When they look for an angle, like, look how hesitant uh, we see Zeka being here, immediately dashing back. He knows the threat that can come out from the opposite side. Owner goes for an ult on the rel, and it's completely fine, but everyone in Honor Life Esports knows if they step even a step too far, as we saw happen with Delight, you just get deleted. There's so much lockdown, so much preventative, uh, control for the side of T1, and when you're in a deficit, it is just suffocating. All right, do you want the Hopium, guys? Go on. Two minutes. Elder there is flip. an Elder. And Elder sometimes, flip. sometimes you just have to bring your spatula and see what you can get done. Well, you know, this time, if Hanwha Life just you know, grab onto that dragon and hold on tight and see if Viper can layer that damage too with the smite, and they look for the 50 Wait, is that that maybe the first damage will come through with the Elder executes, but. I've got to be honest with you guys, I, I don't see it. I don't think they even get a chance to really contest too much if T1 play this well. They've already got vision set up so well all around this pit. Faker coming back with Crypt Bloom. Oh man, that, that is, is a, a strong three item spike that he's hit right now. It is yeah, just looking so rough. The bigger thing for me is obviously we talked about Guma being getting, given a lot of extra XP, but uh, currently he's level 16. And oh Viper just hit level 14. Guma's the highest level in the game and nearly has four items completed. Was obviously hoping to get IE in before this dragon fight, but regardless, this Zeri is ridiculously strong. Now, there's still 75 seconds to go before this dragon spawns, so you know, this mid push through here, some of this vision clear for Hanwha is useful and is very important to do. You know, cross your, your T's here, dot your I's as best as you can before this fight, but. It's really going to be about how the fight occurs, how it actually stacks up. Because as you mentioned, Zeri nearly on four items here. Guma so massively ahead. If you don't lock this guy down and kill him instantly, no one will ever match his damage. Not a Yone, not a Lethality Varus here, not in a straight up 5v5. If they could fight in neutral, if Viper can hit a few arrows here before the fight breaks out. Elder fight? The Faker or Guma, there may be a world. Is he going to pick up that fourth item now? You have to imagine... Yeah, just waiting the last couple of seconds here. I believe the Infinity Edge will be coming in though. And that is, uh, where, Forrest, where is it at, man? Come on, hurry it up. Oh my good, he's, he's in the back room. Guys, we've got a game going, please. Uh, there it is. Waiting. Oh, okay, it's going to be the quick blades yeah. to come in. And of course, that is what's That's the often way. seen alongside the, uh, the hurricane. I just get excited. I, I see a Crit Cloak and I see a BF Sword and my brain just says, Infinity Edge. It's locked in, you know, that's what yeah, you, you yeah. assume it's going to be. And no one could stack some further than Clay without you knowing where she was. <laughs> yeah, I didn't play during that either. <laughs> that doesn't sound somebody, familiar to me. It took so much time, they didn't have presence on the map. Life Esports set a trap, and because T1 are late I think old there, League was just, like, so janky. Like, a lot of funny, funny interactions and silly stuff, you know? It makes sense to sit on Dragon and have Doran hold the angle here. Now he's going to have to wrap around. 
No 50-50 with no smite. Exactly. Let's see what T1 can do. They're going to have to try and find this to avoid losing the Elder. There's a seismic shock. Ooh, big damage. My god. Go in. Kill him. Oh, Rel just went crazy. Oh, no. They lost that. Wow. They just win right there? Down. The health on Guma was so close to the execute threshold, but not quite there. And Pfeiffer just cannot do enough. They have enough time. All right. Oh, let's see. Let's... Allow we... Allow we not very pog champ. He went as well. They they got 3 by Hollow Life in the upper bracket. And then they had to play them last night. Or I guess that stream was only like five, six hours ago. Um they had to play them for what's it called? For MSI. Well I and to make it the finals too. I don't know who won, so no don't expose it. Figuring it out. I was gonna watch it last night, but I fell asleep. The Aberrant Spectres are terrible, dude. They're so lame. They're so lame. And I guess there's another version of them, too, that are, like, brown, and they suck, too. I haven't had to do them, but if they're anything like the green ones, they're terrible. I'm so tired today. You don't multi-stream uh, because it's, in my opinion, as a viewer, I don't like watching people that multi-stream because the chat's all over the place and then <clears throat> the chat's all over the place. I don't know who the streamer's responding to when they're looking at, like, you know, they're looking at Twitch chat, TikTok chat, YouTube chat. So you just have this guy sitting there having a full conversation and you don't feel like you're a part of the conversation or a part of the stream because of it. But I like to switch it. I mean, I like to get on YouTube and talk to people. I mean, I'm live on TikTok right now too, but TikTok's usually, TikTok's such RNG like platform that like no flame the TikTok or people that use it, but I never seem to get like great, um, the best interactions over there, you know? I'm gonna take two tower shots and die, that sucks. It's an execute though. I kind of messed up there though, because now she's going to get XP lead. My little mistake. But I really don't want her. I want to get that kill.
Okay, now we'll push him back out. She's low. Should be able to find a kill. Well, she still has flash, though, but... He actually lives? Um, I guess she is inting. This wave is kind of like fucked, isn't it? Hold on. I could have left this wave, couldn't I? Oh, I'm making mistakes. Why am I making mistakes? The wave was fine. Why did I touch it? I didn't need to do that. one of your matchup guys not for allowing no i need to make one though i just got back into the matchup guide game we did a shin one this week we did a shin matchup guide this week Oh, boo-hoo. He's mad. My wave has been ruined since I tried to push it that one time. I literally just ruined my wave. My wave state. I really thought I had enough damage there. Fine, I guess I have to get heal cut.
My wave is still ruined. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this. That's all it takes, dude. I tried to push a wave that didn't need pushed one time and I just suffer. And she's here fast enough to fix it. Like, oh, I'm just suffering because of that one play. I didn't push it fast enough again. All right, I have to use teleport. I'm gonna just get Tiamat, dude. I'm just gonna fix my wave and uh, whatever. I'm just gonna get Tiamat. I'm just gonna get it shoved in and then I can fix it that way. I'm just gonna fix it the old fashioned way then. This wave is just perma ruined. Yo, chill. Billy Champ. Wow, really? What's up, whatever? How you doing? That was three vitals right there. Goofy champ, man. I guess we'll get heal cut then. I really don't know how she's surviving any of this.
I have no CS this game. This is my wave management. Yeah, we'll let the team carry this one. Alright. Yeah, game looks fine. I just chill this one. She kind of not play against Lowy. I mean, that's part of teaching too. Is knowing what not to do, what to do. But then again, I never said I was teaching anybody how to play against Lowy. So. Gold. I need my ravenous. Oh, I had no man. I could have flash fightled actually. Good ravenous now. That'll be a big help.
win treaty, huh? to grab my ravenous that is 14 and 0 and I guess I have to reset anyway so doesn't really matter I can bait her R out. More item. I probably need two more. I'm probably still gonna go full damage, even though I shouldn't. I'm gonna go Eclipse for fun here. Bolivar teleport by the way, their jungler is teleporting to me. Oh, did that hit? <laughs> yeah, I guess I could walk back up here and finish this tower. Max damage always, no matter what, even when behind. Oh, that tower's like one shot.
GG. That's a big horse. Oh, yeah. That's what I tell you. What time is it? Four? We got time for one more. We can do one more game. How long was the previous stream before it shut down on us? It was an hour 24. Hour 24. Hour 24 and we're at hour 8. Maybe I'll play two more then. Viper can't do enough. He doesn't have the time. He's playing with Aldivaris here and even with the miracle of owner just stepping forward there and getting caught. Anma Life cannot take the Elder fight. They do end up getting the dragon. It's a close one there, despite there being no enemy smite. Peanut secures it, but the engage is straight into a Talia. We talk about the value of those rocks, the shoves into a composition like this all the time. And he ends up getting serious work done now. Anma Life to try to contest this Baron, but it's already gone. Yeah, it's already gone. There's easy, a lot of these champions, 4G1 can escape over the wall, as you can see. So they just burn double TP and don't get anything for it. The Elder Buffs have all gone, and now T1 have an over 10,000 gold lead and a Baron in pocket. And see the replay. The I mean, Weaver's... Doran just gets brutalized. Yeah, Doran gets brutalized here, and so there's no front line anymore for when the Elder does go down. And Anma Life had to sacrifice him here to guarantee they can get this. And then when Delight's engage comes through, look at Peanut's follow-up here. And as Yone comes through, Baker, oh. he's not caught. It's the Man. triple shove into the knockup there from Caria. And without that passage of play, it's very likely Viper does get the damage done, hits another rotation of abilities, and then the Elder buff finishes them off. But Baker's positioning there so crisp, holds the angle. Zekka doesn't look for the one target, he wants three, but it puts him and his team in shove's range. And Han will life drop the ball there, 10,000 gold now behind. And you know, Zekka was just so close to hitting Guma with that ultimate. And you know, he, he was so close to going down without that. It was an easy secure. I mean, I'm not sure that would have been enough with Zeus and Faker still standing, but definitely gonna regret the positioning of that ultimate just a little bit off there and now dealing with the baron we already saw how problematic this is for Han life esports competition but the lead uh, composition but the lead has just gotten bigger yeah and now you've got the mid lane they have taken care of it somewhat but still super minions will be making their way down and for the next minute and a half t1 will be able to put on so much pressure twist of fate already in that all queue just barely gonna go wide there for Doran, hunting for any sort of way to find themselves an advantage. But every single time we've been into a team fight, it's just been T1 the whole way through. The difference between this first game and the previous series that we saw from Harmo Life Esports is night and day, as there is the Weaver's Wall from Faker. Just gonna put that one up to try and get some more damage down. You can see Peanut just standing in front, trying to keep this turret alive. As Destiny gonna be used here, Moves Zayas back into the mid lane as well, and he's just running Zekker around. So and he, he can continue to get turrets. He's playing a, a you know a very low eco twisted fate very well. Until now he actually has the eco. Now he has the lead. He's sitting on three and a half items here, and it's just being a side lane threat. We'll just go straight to top lane here. Rinse and repeat. Mm. And dealing with this twisted fate so frustrating here for Han Will Life. Now Han Will Life may be able to buy enough time here. This inhibitor's up in two minutes just before the Elder. They may get another opportunity to flip for Elder a second time, but I don't think they're gonna get that lucky pick on the owner. And the itemization, as you mentioned, and the gold lead here for T1 is so much larger than it was before. And once again, you gotta catch Guma. You gotta lock this guy down. Oh. He's got GA, you oh, gotta kill God. him twice. Yeah, he just got GA. That's and six Faker items. just got Zonya's. Owner also has GA. There's a Mikhail's on carry as well. The timing of the summoners are all coming back up. Guma's flash is gonna be up soon. Carrier's flash is gonna come up soon. Everything is stacked against Honor Life Esports right now. They really need a miracle situation. Uh, they got one last time and it wasn't enough. Yeah, it but still wasn't true. enough there. You know, getting the Elder and still losing the fight. You know, it does happen occasionally when the team will get the Elder, they're so low on HP, but it just felt like even cards off, uh, it just wasn't enough there. Yeah, and uh, when Faker hits a three-man seismic shove, with the fact that everyone is melee on this uh, Hum Life Esports squad, the Talia value is very high, but hitting those 
is not something that happens every day. And I, I want to give credit to Goomba, a player we often criticize for not playing Zeri. We don't criticize his play on it all too much. He hasn't looked as comfortable as players like Taze or Viper, right? But given the opportunity to play it here and giving the agency those two kills in the early game, and he has run away with it. His positioning has been good. He's deathless here in this game. Full itemization, as mentioned, level 18 now. And the guy has absolutely played this to a T. And I think shutting up a lot of the, the haters of people saying that this guy just can't play the haters. He doesn't, but he will. And when oh, he yeah. does, you know, in a critical best of five like this, he comes up big. And, you know, it's Carrier it playing Rakan as well. I, I don't think he played Rakan once during the regular season either. This uh, feels a little bit like a leaf out of uh, Humble Life Esports' book as far as their favorite champions here on the bottom side. And T1 with a little bit of a anything you can do, we can do better uh, in this particular game at least. Feels a little bit uh, re results based, or what? What is it? What is it? Orcs uh, results based. Outcome focused. <laughs> assessment. Oh, thank you, thank you. Our, yeah. our outcome focused. No, no, we don't do. We don't do results based analysis over here. Right? No, we don't. Only We're very outcome focused assessments. Very against that, but uh, yes, like you said. And you're right. Focused assessment. Very, very good. It's his. It's his. Maybe we'll play two more games. We'll see. Let's see how this game goes right here. That is a Garen mid, by the way. Set top. Let's see how this game goes and we'll decide if we're going to do one more afterwards. For Triforce, you can take Triforce whenever you want in place of Eclipse, like first, second item. Triforce is still good. I just don't really build it because I'm just really obsessed with this max damage build. I just really like going Ravenous, uh, Eclipse, and Holebreaker because it's just so much, so much AD. It's super strong. I've just been having fun with it. But you can go Triforce in every game, any game, whenever you want. I think that it is uh, a little bit more consistent overall than taking Eclipse, but I just like having the big damage opportunity. It makes the game more fun for me. Oh, we got mid lane. Damn. Let's hope they play a melee mid laner and we're good.
I think it's Rumble Top. Talia actually not that bad. I can slide parry on her rocks, so I can have a stun opportunity for her. So actually not that bad at all. Alright, let's see how this game goes. Never mind. We wait longer. We wait forever. It's his first game of Huracan the season. Uh, and he's played so many. He's, he's played six unique champions of playoffs. So be his seventh. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Looking for that opportunity. Gets into the back line. They dive on top of Viper. He's able to get himself out. Now 1v1 and he finds it against Deus the ulti. And Viper's still alive. He finds the double kill and it's going to be the next What the hell? T1 choking? TA is now Doran is just playing bodyguard and T1. They couldn't do it. They killed him so many times. Owner and again. That time they weren't able to get there. Owner again is, is, is picked here before the Elder and it's a really nice fight here for Hanwha Life, but they get a second miracle. They get a second lease on life here. How many do they need? I mean, we already wrote the obituary. <laughs> yeah. We were memeing about Karia and stuff. We were talking about Goober Fairy. I mean, they. I was ready for game two. They threw so much at Viper. I think they just expected him to die. And I'm going to be honest, I did too. Me he too. got mild, did. He got Ricardo, did. He flashes away for a TF to turn onto him. And he just manages to fight his way out. It's crazy that he ends up living this, but we see him end up getting the Edge of Night propped here. They throw all the CC onto him. The flash is good. And then they wow. Oh the TF got one shot. Comes yeah. in to CC the peel and just in time to save him. The re-engage there from Delight as well. And I really just don't feel like you have to pick the Varus in this composition. You can slow play this. you got a Talia burn through that health on Doran. Push the light back in front to back, and you have a full item build Zeri, who's extremely fed. Level 18 has been for a while. Rely on your comp. You don't have to pick just because you have buy. You can, but this comp is so good at re-engage. was what we talked about in the draft. I didn't think it was going to be relevant in this game because T1 had a 10,000 gold lead. But now the tables have turned, and Hanwha Life, they minimize that gold lead a little bit, but they're going to get a decent amount of map control out of this Baron and Elder. With all these turrets still up, it's not game ending, but Hanwha Life back in the driver's seat. Yeah, they're gonna be able to get a lot off this, but this is Exodia. They've they've picked up everything. I mean, it we is. forgot about the soul because that was years ago. The big thing though is that T1 pushed all the waves out as much as they can. There's only a minute 15 on the Elder. They haven't even taken mid tier one yet, so they don't actually have that much time to make use of these. They really need to start knocking on towers as quick as possible, and T1 have space to give. You know, obviously losing towers is never great. But it's going to be a while before they start getting up to your inhibitor towers. If they can thin out the wave, you know, they have Talia, they have the, the W from Zeri to help out. They might be able to defend their inhibitors at least until the Elder drops. Yeah, no. got to be so careful about trying to look for an engage here as T1. Don't think it's going to be well faded for Karia just because of that Elder burn. You're going to get executed so quickly if he gets hit by a few of these arrows from Viper. And he's so careful about looking for a flank. Karia's fishing. We have to remember as well that T1, they don't have a lot of range either as far as defending against these barren up siege minions. Um, not something that we've had to talk about really either as Hummel Life will Titanic now move still Jack show for I would are, not. We are getting back to even territory. That does not the sound Weaver's very good. Wall is going to be just elected into it. Faker not going to be able to convince them not to break open the base. It's like you say, it could be a trade of inhibitor turrets, but Hummel Life Esports, it doesn't look like they're stopping. 
as this elder is still ticking down. Another five seconds on that. Oh, one. they find the engagement and they blow up Baker into the back line. Goes Curry. He tries to find that quickness, but he's permanently frosted and taken down. The deletion on two members. Is that enough for the end of the game? I don't think so. As Hamalife Esports, they don't think so either. Yeah, so many cooldowns being there. They have to respect the Zeri Guma still. Dang, this game one is kind of crazy. He locks Aurelia. Do I want to go uh, max? Like, do I want to go conquer? Nah, PT is fine. Conquer is probably pretty good too, but. Yeah, Fiora just needs that AD as much as possible. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good to me, but you're building it and having fun with it. I'm not going to stop you. Just played with this guy. Oof. Actually, can't stand it matchups. Vein. Teemo. Vein, Teemo. Kinnon. I think Poppy's actually a lot easier than it looks. Poppy just sucks in level, level 1, 2, 3, so you just get an early kill and then you kind of just snowball off of it.
Nah, playing against Vayne sucks because, like, if somebody actually knows how to play Vayne, it makes it 20 times harder because you can't let her just sit there and farm. Because she just farms and she's going to 1v9 your whole team. So you have to try to find kills on her and put pressure on her, and that's, like, the hardest part about it. your jungler is like forced to help you in that lane and if he doesn't then you're screwed and your team is probably screwed too because a good vein player is just gonna 1v9 if given the opportunity A good blind pick. Yeah, I mean, Fiora is just one of the best top laners in the game for sure.
I haven't really gotten a chance to fight at all. Maybe I stay and look for a fight because she's just shoving and then trying to avoid me. Maybe we force the issue here a bit. Uh, the playlist is on artlist.io, so I don't really have a link for it. Like, I... This is, um, music that I pay for, so that I have a license for it, so I can listen to it on YouTube and stuff like that, and not get demonetized. So there's not, like, an actual playlist thing for it. should have died there too honestly surprised she didn't die <sighs> jay what's up how you doing buddy so far. You know, we think of the Twitch follow. I appreciate it. Those items aren't in the game anymore.
I have my Revenus now. I do really want that, actually. Very massive power spike. Grab this red buff, teleport back with Ravenous, and then a huge damage, and I can look for something that way. Do I even want to go? I don't really know if I want to take. What's it called? I don't know if I want tabbies, actually. I want Mertrez. I can't decide. I'm gonna wait a second. Tabbies are gonna help me much more in the side lane though. Maybe I do take them. But it would be nice to have MR if this guy, this soul gets super ahead. Do you have Bork yet? Alright.
Smirks. Yeah, I was thinking about it, but I changed my mind. That fight just decided it for me. We're gonna need a little bit of armor, because that guy almost killed me just... I think I have a cliff snout. Teleport is that? Is that a really? Wow, I didn't hit the bottom vital there. That's weird. We got Eclipse now. I used Flash there though, that kind of sucks, but... Wait, what? Why didn't we pull the Aurelian soul?
It makes no sense for you to go top with teleport if the dragon is already up. And I'm building a mall, which sucks too. Okay, I got this. I got three items now. You put her right in. Uh. With this build path, it's kind of hard to actually win the 1v1 against Aurelia.
an awkward teleport. GG. What's up, Tasha? How you doing? I think I don't think we'll do another one because it's already it's already five o'clock. We're at two hours and we were at like an hour and a half on the other one, so I think we're good. I think we're good on the day. All right, boys, that's it for me on the YouTube TikTok stream. I'm gonna take a little break. I might miss the Twitch stream night. We'll see, maybe I'll stream on Twitch. I'm just really tired today. But um, sorry the stream got split into two, um, but it was still a good day. 
We had a winning day on the master account. Had some good games over there as well. So thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. And I may see you later tonight. If I don't see you later tonight, I'm going to make up for not streaming uh, last night. And I'll stream Sunday night after I get home from work. So if I don't see you tonight on Twitch, I'll see you tomorrow night on YouTube and TikTok as well. So you guys have a great day. Have a great weekend. I might see you in a few hours. I might not. I'll let you guys know in the Discord. So peace, love. Have a good day, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.